Welcome to Fantastic Vision. If you always watch our videos, you may know that. Photonic chips have suddenly become a hot topic in the industry, and there are more and more reports of similar news. After learning that the first photonic chip production line in China will be built next year, people are even more curious about photonic chips. It's like a strange product suddenly came to the side, and at the same time, it will pay attention to it with exploratory eyes. So what exactly is a photonic chip? Is the rumored lane change overtaking in the industry a gimmick or a hype? Exploration of photonic chips There are many types of chips. According to different materials, chips manufactured by different processes can exert different performances. The most common chip on the market is an electronic chip made of silicon material. The chip circuit is exposed on the silicon wafer with a lithography machine, and then tens of billions of transistors are integrated in the chip manufacturing process. The higher the number of transistors, the higher the electron transfer rate at play. However, in the limited chip size, the number of transistors will be difficult to increase due to the arrival of Moore's law limit. It is very difficult to integrate tens of billions of transistors on a chip the size of a fingernail. If you want to continue to make breakthroughs, you must either improve the process of lithography equipment or improve the manufacturing process. No matter which one is, it is not easy. In this case, chip manufacturing methods using different materials and different processes are constantly being explored. For example, carbon-based chips are made from graphene materials, and quantum chips are explored in quantum technology. In addition, photonic chips made of second-generation semiconductor materials such as gallium arsenide are also becoming the focus of the industry. The concept of a photonic chip is well understood. It uses light waves as the carrier of information transmission, simulates light signals in integrated optics, and finally acts on the chip. Photonic chips are very different from traditional electronic chips in terms of materials and manufacturing processes. The materials of photonic chips are mainly gallium arsenide, indium phosphide, etc. of the second-generation semiconductors. These materials have characteristics such as high forbidden bandwidth and high thermal conductivity which guarantee the high-speed transmission of photonic chips. Compared with electronic chips, the computing speed of photonic chips is increased by 1,000 times, and the power consumption is 1 90,000th of that of electronic chips. In addition, the photonic chip does not need to rely on high-end EUV lithography machines. Its structure is simple, and the process technology of several hundred nanometers can meet the needs of all walks of life. The exploration of photonic chips has moved from theory to practice. There is news in the industry that the first photonic chip production line in China will be built next year, and preparations are already underway. It can meet the needs of communication, data center, and other fields. Under the circumstance that Moore's law is facing the limit, the development of other chip materials will definitely become a trend. Moreover, in the complex semiconductor industry environment, breaking the rules and blockades has also become an important task. Therefore, in the discussion of photonic chips, changing lanes and overtaking has become a high-frequency word. In the absence of full deployment of photonic chips abroad, production lines are already being prepared in China, and they may be at the forefront of the industry in another chip field. Are photonic chips a gimmick? The photonic chip production line will be built next year, which is undoubtedly good news, but in the opinion of some people, before the photonic chip is actually implemented, 
it is as illusory as carbon-based chips and quantum chips. Although they have good performance characteristics in theory, very few have actually been promoted to the market and formed a complete industrial chain model. Compared with electronic chips that have formed an output value of hundreds of billions of dollars, how the consumer market will choose, I believe there is a clear answer. This makes people curious, is the photonic chip a gimmick? This depends on the industry's actual layout of photonic chips. If the construction of the photonic chip production line cannot explain anything, then the multiple patents published by Huawei prove that the photonic chip does have the potential for layout. Huawei published a patent titled Optical Computing Chip, System and Data Processing Technology in February last year, which indicated that the technology could be used in the field of artificial intelligence. In addition, in March of the same year, Huawei's other optical computing equipment and computing method also showed that it was related to the layout of photonic chips. In addition, in the development of photonic chip-related industries, some domestic manufacturers have made breakthroughs related to photonic chip modules. For example, Domingli's VCSEL optical chip project is being applied to smart terminals, and Zhongji InnoLite uses its self-developed silicon photonic chip in some optical module products. From the perspective of practical application, photonic chips do not only exist in theory, but are moving towards industrialization. In fact, the preparation and construction of a photonic chip production line in China has already explained a lot of problems. If there is no support from the relevant industrial chain, even if the production line is completed, it may not be able to be put into production. So at this point, photonic chips are not necessarily gimmicks and hype but a way to explore chips based on new materials and new processes. Of course, it will take time for photonic chips to be commercialized in the large-scale market. Electronic chips have been developed for more than half a century, and chips of various sizes are spread all over the world. The photonic chip is still in the construction stage of the production line, and we will wait and see what kind of industrial benefits it will bring after the photonic chip is launched on the market. Traditional chips are facing the limit of Moore's law, and some rules prevent advanced process chips from being connected to the global industrial chain. If the photonic chip can change lanes, it will be a solution. Whether the photonic chip is a gimmick or a hype, I believe time will verify everything. What do you think about this? Feel free to share in the comments below.